Oh, hello. I'm Suman Silwal, um, part of uh, IEM uh, E616. I'm doing a project on branding. Um, when, I, when I picked up this topic, branding, uh, it was very unknown to me to think how I'm going to brand and how, what the brand is really. Anytime people think about the brand, we, we think about Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Nike. Those are the well-known brand. Maybe Michael Jordan, some personal brand. But, but as you think about me as a brand, it's, it's, it's something unheard of. And how can I make myself a brand? So I, I, I went in this journey to figure out what is my brand? Who am I to other people? How, do you, how does other people look at me? So I decided to go through this journey. Knowingly or unknowingly, it looked like I've been branding myself back in 2007, uh, September, October, November of 2007. Um, a friend of mine introduced to me to running. Running was not in my blood, so I say. I have run off and on, but never as a, as a really serious runner. So, so I, I thought, okay, I'll give it a chance, I tried, because at my company, we had a lot of support group. So I, I remember my first time when I ran the longest mile, that was three miles, 30 minutes, without stopping. I was so excited. I, I could not believe I could go that far without stopping. So I said, I'm going to give it a try. I signed up for a half a marathon in here in Birmingham. So I ran. Uh, during that period, I was training with a group of people um, that I didn't know. When I, especially when I first time when I ran with them, they were. When I met them, they couldn't believe that I was. I was just you know I have never run before, and also when I after the finish when I got introduced when I got been back in the office and I checked their names and w what their status I realized there's there's some of them are a couple of them were a VP executive uh, vice president of my company and some of the head of department different department not my department so it was kind of you know I already was start building my network through to the running. Um, so during, during the IEM, first year of IEM, I ran two marathons. Um, that was still okay. The last year when, when, when we went through, uh, 2009, when we went through this uh, topic of looking at our brand, ourself, um, uh, talking about our passion, the running came to me over and over again. I went through the circle and circle, figured out, and went through the whole, whole, um, whole, uh, um, uh, whole um, uh, uh, idea of uh, filtering and everything, uh, funnel process, that's what I'm thinking, <laughs> sorry. Uh, that, that, during that period, the running came over and over. I said, okay, let's, let me see how, what can I do. So throughout, um, so I, I decided to go ahead and go ahead and sign up for six marathons. Uh, some of those, thinking running six marathons in six months, that was, that was the thing. And I knew that by, by the time I finished my sixth marathon, I may be brand myself, or my, my brand will be well known. Sure enough, I, I started my journey back in June, start training. My first marathon was 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 uh, was at Toronto. Um, as you, I have collected the, the medals, I'm going to go through right now and and go through one one medal at a time. Toronto. This is where a lot of my family and part of my family lives here, and they were so excited to, for me to come there. I had a joy of being being with being with uh, being with the family, and they were happy to see me there. The next came New York Mar New York Marathon. For New York Marathon, you really have to um, eat, win a lottery or some sort of qualify or, or raise some money. What I did is, this was my first time ever, I raised money for a charity. Now, so that, raising money for charity, what it gave me is, is really I got connected with, as you can see, I, I was connected with Rotary Club. I was a team Rotary. Team Rotary, Rotary Club of New York. Uh, also, I was teamed with the uh, Rotary Club of Birmingham. With that, I got connected with so many different people, and um, also I raised money for for uh, for different reason. Um, and main main thing, is different. And I, I raised uh, tw more than twenty five hundred dollars. That was the first time I ever I have done that. I have decided I will do continue doing that. Part of my and also. Part of my part of my branding, future branding. Well, I'll talk about that a little bit. And also throughout throughout this period, I ran three marathons in three months in in uh, in in, um, in Alabama. There's only a few elite people has ran this this thing. This year, we are graduate 35 people ran out of all the marathoners 
running uh, three marathons in three months. So that's a tough, ch tough challenge. And um, during that three, I ran a Hansel marathon. That was my PR. I, I finished three, three hours and 43 minutes. So also that gave me a lot of respect within my running community. And people start noticing me as, as, I, as I ran and people talk about me and said, hey, this guy's running six marathons in six months and he's trying to run. At, at least that time I was trying to run. Um, I ran a Mercedes. Um, after running a Mercedes marathon this year, I was totally destroyed and destruct. But I knew that to, 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 I had made a commitment to myself and to my brand that I'm going to continue. So the challenge came to run Atlanta Marathon. I did that in, in March, after a, uh, March. It was a great, uh, great run for me uh, because um, I, was able to, I was able to enjoy, enjoy the run, run my pace, and and also at the end of the race, what happened is uh, there was a there was a there was a journalist going around. Call me lucky or call me being the right place at the right time. He was walking around. He actually found me, and we talked about my running six marathons in six months. Actually, it's published in Atlanta Journal Constitute. As you can see, this is sports sections of sports section of the, of the of the newspaper. I don't know where to find the front page, um, but it is. It is a sports section of, 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 the, of the newspaper, and uh, and you can see that that my my little little blips of, of my um, my my story was published here, and also I have I have I have blogged. Talking about blog, throughout this throughout this period, I also have blogged Emrons.com. That's where I have put a lot of my my work, as well as people, some of the other people who's. Who are uh, one of one of one of the person who's running is a Boston marathoner. She will be running uh, tomorrow, I think. Um, yeah, it is tomorrow. Uh, she will be running the Boston marathon. So, so as you can see, that as I, as I went through building process of my my brand, I have gone through a lot of a lot of a lot of different a lot of different hard works and and uh, a lot of different uh, tackling a lot of different things. And also throughout this time, I I, I collected a lot of medals. And as you can see. They're, they're not only marathon medals, there are 5Ks, medals, and, and uh, other medals I have correct, collected. Even, even, even as, as, as far as last week, I actually collected, collected a medal. When I, especially, it was funny that when I walked into that, uh, to that race, um, a couple of guys came to me and said, they said, well, Suman, you are here. Now we have no chance to win. And so you know that I have made some impression on, on people about 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 my running. So 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 what did I do? How, how what, what did I do here? And this this period of time, what was my my story? If you look at it, what I did is I went after what was my passion. My passion was running, and I took it to my heart and and went forward and 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 try to make make myself known. And make make myself a brand. Uh, people know me as a marathoner now. Um, I have made, made a very good good impression. And for you, if you if you want to be uh, if you want to make your own brand, I suggest you to go ahead and and find a passion and and work on it and see what happens. Because because everything is um, everything is uh, everything is everything. All this brand does not happen in one day overnight. It takes time to build things. I read I read the good book uh, Cross It. So I'm crossing it, uh, crossing it through 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 this uh, through this branding process, and that has helped me. And um, and I will I will continue I will continue crossing it. Uh, one more thing I, I I forgot to mention earlier, part of my branding, uh, part of the health campaign back in 2008, we actually had a poster. This was a poster made 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 by me, uh, and my poster. And uh, as you can see, it was used used at used at use that um, my company for for a healthy health health conscious campaign but anyway that's that's what i did um there's so many things to talk about we can talk all night i can talk to you about all night what i did what i can be and how, how i can make my brand further but one thing i haven't noticed and also always dr callahan always tell us that look beyond what you're doing look look at what, what is next so what i say what, what i realized is, hey I'm already running now. Let's try something new. Let's try. I'm not going to quit running. I'm, I will be running marathons. But I said, let's, let me see if there's something I can find interesting. So sure enough, what I did is I found found, found myself um, uh, found my found myself um, a bicycle. Um, 
and and uh, and uh, I thought it's time to tap a new market and go forward and see see if I can brand myself as as a bicycle. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. Hope you enjoyed. Have make yourself a brand. I gotta go ride a bicycle. You know, this is a nice bicycle and it's a beautiful spring weather here in the south. Goodbye. Thank you.